exciting things to tell you. Um, I'm really excited right now because I just figured out that YouTube has a library of royal royalty free music um, and which was something I was looking for. I knew that I needed some music in the vlogs to make it um, sound better, feel more professional. Um, found that stuff. They've got some great music in there. I'm really excited about that. <clears throat> uh, secondly, I'm on fall break right now more of a fall breather it's only two days but I'm excited about that also the uh, Monday I get off for Columbus Day um, hooray for Columbus but <laughs> I'm, I'm taking what break I can get um, try not to, uh, to to kick back too much and stay on top of um, anything that really needs to be done over the break but uh, this break allows me the opportunity to try to catch up on some of the vlogs. I've got a backlog of footage that I really need to be editing, but I have been really busy with midterms and I've been trying to figure out a new editing software. I know the first video I did had that watermark on it. I loved the software, but I can't afford to Pay that much for editing software right now when I can make do with the the free versions um, so I'm switching to a new editing software I think it was gonna be just fine um, I've got that downloaded and I'm ready to start editing these vlogs so hopefully by the time you see this there'll be the backlog will be taken care of and this will be the newest one Thirdly, I'm excited because since we're on break this weekend, um, we're planning on going to the Fiddler's Convention, the annual Fiddler's Convention um, nearby, and who knows what else we'll get into this weekend. Um, me and my wife have uh, kind of a break here over this weekend, so we're going to try to enjoy it and um, de-stress just a little bit before we get back into uh, the swing of the semester. So that's the main things hope you enjoy the rest of your day. It's a beautiful evening here in northern Alabama. It's low 80s. Beautiful. I got to wear my sweater today. I probably, it's probably technically too warm to wear a sweater because it might have got up to 90, but I work in an office and it's always cold. And I love sweaters because they're like professional, but they're comfortable and I tend to be cold. So love sweater weather and maybe it'll cool down some more so I don't look goofy running around in a sweater. Um, overall, I'm having a good day. Um, looking forward to putting out some new content for y'all. So stay tuned. New stuff coming up. sometimes outside and we always deal with that wind noise so I was looking for a cheap solution and I came across this on your regular iPhone 
headphones, there is this little volume button that has the volume up and down, but on the back side of it, this little hole right here is a microphone. Well, if you just use that plugged into your headphone, headphone jack on your phone, you're going to get as much or more wind noise. The problem is that as wind blows across that hole or the hole in your phone, it creates like a little vortex down there in that hole that will you create the extra wind noise even when it doesn't seem like it's that windy. So here's the idea. You can leave the headphones on if you want, but if you want this to be kind of compact and not have the headphones clacking against each other, we're going to take and cut off the headphones here and so we just have this mic piece. And then I think I showed in a previous vlog where I went to the store and bought these, just these uh, foam paint brushes. Well, what we could do is open these up and I'm going to find one of the medium sized ones here and then I'm going to take this center piece out. Well, it tore some, but let's try that with one more. Okay, so this time instead, let's take the scissors. Let's try to be a little more gentle with it. Try to pull that gently away from the plastic piece that goes up the center. I think that worked a little better. Nope, oh, still got a hole. Hang on, let's try it with a knife. All right, so now we're back. I'm gonna try this again. We're gonna try to slide the knife up and cut it away from that on both sides and see if we get a better result that way. Okay, so now I have a larger, larger brush, so I'll get a larger piece of foam and I've got a knife to try to cut it away from the plastic. I've also went ahead and cut the earbuds off of the microphone with just a pair of scissors or wire snips. Um, I was looking for wire snips but couldn't find them. So with a wire as small as this, scissors should work. So now with this larger paintbrush, I'm gonna try to slide along this plastic piece that holds it's glued to. So I'll give it a little bit of come away from that and then just try to get it completely detached from that plastic piece but that plastic piece runs up the center so you want to be careful as you pull it away that you don't rip holes in your foam because the whole idea is that this foam is going to create a barrier between the microphone and the wind. So that side's almost out. This side is coming free and there we go. So that plastic piece comes out of the center and then you've got this piece with a big hole in the center. So now I think what I'm going to do is take that microphone and slide it in and then slide it to one side of the foam so that then I can roll the whole thing. And then take a 
piece of tape and wrap it around the end tightly so that the microphone can't slide out. And I'm going to take one more piece of tape and do the same on the other end just to kind of keep the whole bundle together. Now the idea would be that that microphone should be buried somewhere right in here. And I can feel it, it ends about right there. All right, so here's the idea. We're gonna take this fan, turn it on its highest setting, point it straight at the phone. Now you can still hear me, but you've got that crackling and static from the wind noise. So, we're gonna try the microphone we just made and you let me know if you can hear the difference. Just listen to the difference. Yes, you can still hear the fan, but that extra static, it's pretty much gone. And versus spending, I don't know, 30 bucks on a mic, this is a pretty good solution. I'll give it a nine out of 10. All right, y'all, I don't know if you can tell, but I've been looking at a computer screen for at least a couple hours, I think, and it's almost midnight, and I've got to be up early for work in the morning, so. It's been a successful day. Got just, just a little bit, and the vlog might be a little bit short, but we got a little bit for the vlog, but more stuff coming tomorrow. See you later.